York News anchor Ann Sawyer has announced that she will be taking a vacation. That announcement came just one week after the hacking scandal, which saw the anchor and investigative journalists' professional and personal documents published online. Investigations into the incident were bolstered when notorious hacker Vex claimed responsibility for the Sawyer doxing on an internet chat board called Ratchet. Vex has been an increasingly malicious internet presence since first emerging in 2014, claiming responsibility for the hack on Columbia and New York University's Humanities and American Studies departments, which left all digital course materials watermarked with swastikas. Head of the York News Corporation, Randall Turner, commented that Anne Sawyer is one of television's greatest journalists, and we'll continue to stand by her at the news desk and beyond. Sawyer's show, The Sawyer Report, is in its seventh season. Protests broke out today in the North African Republic's capital city of Rishaya. Hey, my favorite friend. Zayn is here too. He's begging to talk. Why not make it a party? Kelly, you've <laughs> not joined my channel yet. I feel neglected. I am trying to make employee of the week here, Zayn. Not to mention pay the bills. Check out the virtual 360 degree tour. That looks nothing like the coffee shop in Friends. Was my TV lying to me again? That is New York. Welcome to Virginia. Cool oh. art. You guys commissioned that from a kindergarten? Ah, uh, the artist is the manager's girlfriend. Anything he doesn't want at home, he hangs here. I like to think of it as a Rorschach test. On any given day, it's a window into the soul. I see a casserole. I see Taylor Swift's tatas. I see a burning city skyline. Aches. <sighs> I'm telling you, a sense of doom has set in since that fuckface Vex taking credit for the Sawyer doxing. That guy loves to be hated. What a loser. <laughs> yeah. Just pisses me off, him getting famous off this shit while people trying to actually fix stuff. At least little Jake is not in jail. <sighs> Whatever. Just leaves a bad taste in my mouth. Like we're helping Vex with his shitty reputation? Kel, let it go. Go check out the new channel. No. Oh, later. I feel like I need to space out before I'm back on deck. No rush. Hi. Uh, welcome to Fleetwood Macchiato. What can I get you? Uh, red eye. I'll get that to go. Sure thing. Uh, uh, sorry. Room for milk? OK. Ah, oh, jeez. Uh-huh. Um, um, like a napkin shit, or something? Yes, yes, shit, shit. Uh, yes, um, here you go. See, okay. um, I will make you Got another it. one. It's not stained. Do you no, want, like, a, a stone or something? Are we okay? Yeah, 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 yes. And here she comes, fast be late to the party. Kelly is cool. Kelly Zane. is cool. Take a chill pill, okay? Or I put parental lock on. I'm chill, I'm chill. You called it hashtag war games? Kel, welcome to our secure digital compound. You guys. Wait, wait, before you say anything. Zane. Hear us out, Kel. Guys, we talked about this already, okay? War games is a one-off. Cyber activism is staying a hobby, okay? It is not a lifestyle. Not for me, at least. It can't be. And what about us? War games is our everything. Melodramatic, Zane. Kelly, can I say something? Yeah, anything to not hear Zane talk for a few seconds. It's true. We had the close call, okay? But we figured it out. And this, Kelly, war games, no matter what you tell yourself, it's a thing. And that's what we've been talking about. We have the world's attention. We could do something important. I'm, I'm just gonna stay quiet because I think it's really just summed up all my feelings. Look. I need to move on. Greetings. Private channel, Zane? It, it is, it's a fluke she's in here. Hello? Paging resistor, this party's invitation only. Kind of freaking the eyes, no? Yeah. Shall we play a game? Oh. This is some Robin Sage shit. People are paying attention. War Games has an international audience, and activists are reaching out. Asking to be mobilized. Now is not the time to walk away. Good one, Zane. What? 
No, 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 no. She, she, it's not me. You landed a punk. Now you need to follow through. War games can be a valiant call. Okay, cut the crap, Zane. I swear, I don't know who this is. You clearly got this girl off of, like, Fiverr or something. You're becoming a little fucking predictable, Zane. Dude, I do not know this lady. The media, the military, the government, they're scared of you. Okay. My friends just gave me this pitch. It's a good pitch, but I'm not. Oh, uh, what, what is she doing? Oh, shit, we have tatas. Fucking A. Now I get the weird look in the eyes. Um. Cal. Isn't it time for a cold shower? Please never leave me alone with Zane again. Cal, we've been talking to our new pal. Pretty juicy opportunity. <laughs> That's your boner talking. He has a big bot army. I'm assuming it's a he. Everybody says they have a big bot army, Zane. Anyway, he uh, he seems to check out. Seems legit. Okay. Um, I got this from here, guys. Resistor. Howdy. Um, I would love to have a conversation with you, but your feed is a little distracting. Great tits, seriously, but can we lose the porn? You were here? Are you still here? Because, um, if so, we should meet. I, uh, I can even make you one of my signature winky face lattes, since you're such a big fan of war games. And hey, you've even got me thinking about changing my mind, which is more than I can say for my friends. So. Jeff, give me a chance to explain. What the hell? You really know how to shoot yourself in the foot. I you swear tell I was trying to help. You are here to serve customers. Serve coffee. Not play spy and attack people. I get it. I get it. I, I fucked up. I can do better. I'm sorry. This isn't working for me. You're firing me? I can't wait around forever for you to pull it together, Kelly. Please. Jeff, I, I, I really like this job. I'll send your paycheck to your house. This phone in the wall. Hey, Sam. Let's play a catch you. Hey, you.
Hey, sis. Hey, Jakey. You headed to practice or something? Yeah, coach wants to keep us warm after last night's win. What about you? You headed to work or? I am taking a mental health day. Does that involve spending time with Rafi? No, no. Rafi is in New York on a last minute conference. I am in my happy place. Gone home? <laughs> Again, Kel? I do not understand what you see in this game. Whatever. <laughs> you were, like, obsessed with Echo the Dolphin for, like, six years and counting. Explain that. I thought I wanted to be a marine biologist. Don't give up hope. There's still time. <laughs> Your Grant family is full of late bloomers. Just don't hold your breath for me. Hey, you just hit the reset. Give it a second, because I know when you go beast mode, no one can stop you. Thanks, Jakey. Yeah. I gotta run, but you trying to shoot hoops this weekend? I mean, since you're not so military fit, I could probably beat you. Oh, ha, 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 <laughs> keep dreaming. Yeah, yeah, let's do it. I gotta keep you in check, apparently. Um, okay. All right, latest this. Hey, Kelly. I want you to meet Nasreen, my girlfriend. Hi, Kelly. I've heard so many nice things about you. Hi. Um, it's, it's nice to finally talk to you. I, I know nothing about you. Are you kidding me? <laughs> we met at a dinner here for North African expats. Fatima's father introduced us. General Jamil, way to go. Yeah, Dad's been pretty amazing. He's become quite a softie in his old age. <laughs> Kelly, I uh, sent you a link. Okay. What is it? Just watch. Yo. Just, mm. Okay. Watching now. <laughs> Come fuck with the sandstormers. <laughs> sandstormers. What is this? <laughs> These kids are fun. Uh, just wait. Is that a predator or a reaper? U.S. predator drone back home. What is this video? A journalist friend of mine, still in North African Republic, sent it to me. He thought that Fatima might be compelled to do something. Compelled? With it. I wrote code for satellites. It's part of the drone communication package that... That's your government job? I, I thought you were cybersecurity. Cybersecurity has a wide remit now. Yeah, I know that. I Look, just, point I... being, the U.S. is arming the North African Republic. And these kids just happened to catch it on camera. They didn't know what it was. They put the video up two days later. Their YouTube page was pulled down. Video gone. Who knows about this? I mean, outside of the North African Republic. No one. I showed it to my boss, but she dismissed it out of hand. Said it could have been anything. The world needs to know that the U.S. is helping prop up President Shafiq's dictatorship. If I have real evidence, I can take it up the ladder and force them to act. I need something they can't dismiss. So the journalist who sent us the video found the kids. The, the sandstormers? <laughs> yes, but they're nervous. They won't talk. Unless they talk to light, man. It was only after mentioning war games that I got them to engage. So you name dropped your hacker protege. They're 16 year old kids. You're like a god to them. Our journalist contact has a satellite phone and is standing by. I don't know. Um, this is a lot and- Talk to them. Please, Kelly. I just don't know that this is just a good idea. to get this thing going. It never just stops there. 
You know I'd do it for you. You were it for me. Yo. Yo. Hey. Wait. Why is he here? Where's Torch? Twin said diarrhea. I need someone who can run tech. But he's a dick. So are you, Zane. He's a dick who cost you your job. Don't worry. I haven't forgotten. This is a test. But we're a man down, and he's game. Let's see if he can redeem himself. Saying you of all people should be sympathetic. Yeah. Hey. Everyone ready? Let's do this. You guys hear us okay? Yes, we can hear you. Everyone, meet Karim. Not his real name. Now, Karim's taking a big risk given Shafiq's treatment of journalists, so. Show the man the respect he deserves. Karim, meet the team. Hello. Thank you for your help. Omar, Amir, meet the World Games crew. Which one of you is the boss? That's me. You don't look like a boss. Omar, that's the one you want. That's Lightman. Nah. -uh. We came for the super hacker. Monica, let's go. Let's go. Oh, no. <laughs> I need a copy of these. Enough. Enough. We'll tell you what you want. Omar, it took me maybe 10 minutes to crack your password. After that, I had access to everything, and I mean everything. Basically, she cut you guys some slack and just collected the PG-rated stuff. Look, we don't have forever, so... Omar, Amir, please, tell us where you made the video. Go ahead, I'm listening. We made it out in the desert. Same spot we always go to. It's just this place with all these jumps. It's pretty punk rock. Only one road goes out there and they watch it. So, we go off road. This is the old government reservoir project. They abandoned it decades ago, left it to rot, like everything else in this country. There's a gap in the fence, and I snuck through once. A bunch of army people, I didn't hang around. The planes fly out of there. Let's get info. Can you get us in there again? Omar, Amir, what do you guys think? Can you help War Games out? No problem, white man. Easy stuff. What do you know? Karim, I thought you said that this was only many questions. Omar, we wouldn't ask if it wasn't important. It's just wait a minute. This is your plan? Have the kids hop the fence into an awful government airbase? That's mean. This is crazy. There's a way. Oh, boy. Kelly, who's this guy? He asked for war games. This is it. That goes for you too, Zane. Okay. Check this out, y'all. Okay. What exactly are we looking at? The power grid for the North African Republic. The internet is a wonderful thing. Take out the power grid? That's some state-sponsored cyber bullshit. This is the third world. No offense. It's not like we're hitting New York. The reservoir facility is on this single node, downstream of the city. If we kill this city node, 
It will cascade. Neil deGrasse Tyson over here. It's more like an amateur hour. Zane, chill. All we have to do is take out the one node. A basic power surge will do it. Power's always going out in the Shia. Even if we use the darkness and go at night, it would be risky. If we could get one serial number on camera, just one, that would be enough. So, how exactly do we make this power surge happen? Get ready for the jet engine challenge. Yo. Jet engine challenge tonight, 8 o'clock. North Africa solidarity. See you there. Nearly there. All the videos that people are watching. We need them to do more than just watch. This isn't gonna work. Is it going to work? The jet engine challenge hashtag is blowing up. We will get the critical mass that we need. Sounds great, but they're setting ducks here, man. The videos are coming. People are reposting. Give it some more time. It's okay. If we go back, we have no cover here. This isn't good. Fatima. Okay, Kelly, call them off. No. Wait for it. It's happening. Look. It got mentioned by the host that you can be a star. This one's up. This is actually gonna work. Sure. But how can we know when? Bingo. The shy just went dark. I don't believe it. Go, go. Yumba, yumba. Well, resistor, I take it back. You're not as full of shit as we thought. Okay, so we're here at the hangar. Okay, take a second. Catch your breath. There it is. people go their whole lives without ever giving up anything. It's a choice. And you, who you are and what you do, you've already made that choice, so own it. This mission is bigger than you. There's power in that. You are going to finish what you started. Taking this straight to sea stock now. They can't ignore it after seeing this video. Thank you. 
Hold on, please. When they come and go. Fuck, that was close. That was almost it. Those dogs were so close. But you got through it. When the world sees this, you did a service to your country. You're a hero. <laughs> hero? No. The world is not that simple. No one cares about... What was it you said? Third world country? No one cares who rules the North African Republic. What happens to us? Whose weapons are used to kill us? Fatima, she will show her superiors. They will make a fuss. It might even be mentioned in your Congress. But we cannot snap our fingers and expect to solve everything in one night. You can't make the world care. Bye, light man. Upload complete. <sighs> Hello. Are you still playing a game? President Shafiq is clinging to every last bit of power he has. He has no problem using state security forces to impose his will, and he is capable of doing terrible things to his own people. Would you like to see some projected kill ratios? The U.S. government is arming Shafiq. He is a pawn in their game. Game over. Democratic government. Military industrial complex. Hashtag war games. Has a warning. War warning. Time to stop playing the game. The North African Republic is under our protection. Is this a game? A game? Game? Or is it real? 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 Hey, it's early. Haven't you slept yet? I've been keeping vampire hours recently. Me too. I guess that thing hides your fangs. I actually have my dentist buff mine down, so. <laughs> the video is incredible. You saw it already. I already retweeted it to my 50 off the counts. It's gonna be huge. You're a beast. I'm really impressed. I prefer best girl, but um, yeah, I can beast it all right when I feel motivated. Is that why you do this stuff? What you mean? Hashtag war games. <laughs> yeah, I mean, standing up to the powers that be, holding them responsible. Or is this just no big deal. Serve others above all else. That's what I was taught. In the military. At home. With my mom. If you're strong, you help those who aren't. She made that pretty easy for me to understand. You're just a chip off the old block. Not exactly. My mom was a soldier. She fought. Literally fought. Guns and tanks. <laughs> I'm not that gutsy. Hence why I'm here and not still in uniform. But you gotta find your own way to fight. And that's war games. Could be. 
Does your mom know about what you're doing? My mom's gone. She, uh, she died. Loyal to what she believed, all the way to the end. Wow. Um, T-M-I. No, <laughs> Sorry. No, that's... that's my dad. Here, maybe. Maybe this will make things a little less weird. I lost my brother two years ago. I don't think that's TMI, it's just the truth. Right. Took me a lot to get to a point where I wasn't worried about what other people were feeling. When I was the one, I had to explain the messed up reasons that he died. That the bank foreclosed on my family's home. And my brother, who had already served two tours in Iraq, he signed up to be a mercenary just to put a roof over our heads. And tons of times I wondered why didn't I just hack some credit cards, get some easy cash like these other jackasses out there. I wanted to. But um, that would have been letting him down. So my brother ended up paying the rent on our shitty condo with his life. <sighs> Sorry, now I am making things very weird. No, 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 no. no. It's weird. I'm just, um... I'm getting used to your face. <laughs> it's not bad. <laughs> For a face. Wait. Wait, I... I served you coffee, didn't I? <laughs> that was you! <laughs> You made me look like a complete idiot. <laughs> I had to put you through the ringer. I can't go around just trusting anybody. Uh, yeah, this hobby of ours doesn't really make it easy. <laughs> no, no kidding. My ex left me because I thought she was an FBI snake. Oh, my. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, a little advice. Vet any potential partners before you get involved, not after. Uh, no, I'm in the clear. My, um, Raphael is a straight shooter. <laughs> It's always the people you never suspect. And you? You just vet everyone? Mm -hmm. Girlfriends, baristas. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Anyone I'm going to be in close contact with. Well, um... I gotta go grab a snack. <laughs> I am starving. Then after that, I'm going to take a giant nap. <laughs> Sounds good. Hey, you, uh, man, you, you killed it today. You're, <sighs> thank you for letting me be a part of this. Glad to have you on board. Hey, how's New York? Hey, it's good. Sorry, just wanted to find somewhere quiet. I forget how loud it is everywhere here. <laughs> Wait, are you home? Um, um, yeah, I am. 
I just needed to come home and um, and juice up. Everything cool over there? Yep, everything's cool. Work school? Well, I wouldn't exactly use the word cool, but... Sure, we all know you're not gonna be there forever, but it's also easier to get a job when you have one. Reminds me, you know who I emailed with today, uh, yesterday? Jenna Kramer, she runs the education nonprofit. They need an intern, so I mentioned you may be looking. Right. No pressure, though. Um, so what's up with you? Privacy nerds treating you all right? Ah, uh, it's quite a dog fest, wouldn't you know? I fit right in. Any good talks? Yeah, they were. Well, what were they? I'm a privacy nerd, too. Um, all right. I talk about privacy law in transition and a kind of cool talk about uh, privacy and intelligent cars. Wow. All that just this morning? Yeah. So will you get to see any of New York? I doubt it. They do a pretty good job of making it impossible for us to leave the hotel. Because I realize most of my friends have moved away. Uh, so it's not like there's anyone I'm missing. I miss you, though. What is it? What's wrong? War game launches off North African Republic, reveals US drone is used by oppressive regime. I was going to tell you. When? Now. Just because I seen it on my news feed first, you hid it from me. You're one to talk. Wait, what? I thought we decided to lay low for a bit. Why don't you see that this is a good thing in my life and stop treating me like I have a problem? Because I don't want you to get in trouble. No, you want me to live with my head in the sand like everyone else. And you're... You're acting weird. You're being... Kelly! Sketchy or something. I, I cannot talk to you right now. I need to cool off. I'm gonna go to my dad's for a bit. And I will just talk to you when you're back. Enjoy the conference. pressure thanks to international scrutiny around the sale of weaponry to the North African Republic. The controversy has put the country in the global spotlight. Cut six thick slices of whatever kind of bread you choose to use and dump each slice in the egg mixture, turning the bread over to soak both sides. Place the soaked bread on the griddle and cook them until both sides are golden brown. Bam. Fati, just in time for brunch. I truly cannot cook for shit, but somehow French toast is in my real house. <laughs> Maybe because I begged mom for it every year for five years growing up, and I always watched her make it. You at Raphael's? Um, my dad's actually. I needed some space. I don't know, it just still doesn't feel like home. It's fine, it's fine. If Raphael's out of town anyway, it's fine. It's just a little love is quarrel. <sighs> you mind if I dig in? Go for a tea. So, how great was it to hear about the UN, right? I mean, like they have real pressure now. It's amazing, they can't just like slip it under the rug. How's Nesreen? Isn't she happy? You haven't heard the latest then. What? There's been a huge crackdown in the last 12 hours. Shafi has declared martial law. I was just watching the news like two seconds the ago. The international news isn't reporting it yet. 
Kelly, there are reports from the people on the ground in Rashiya that Shafi is using the drones to fire on protesters. He's out of control. Last night, the government started sweeping arrests of dissidents and journalists. And they have a list. Karim's name is on it. They'll put him in prison or worse. That's awful. Probably would have happened sooner or later. Shafi is growing more paranoid by the day, but... But this was like the red rag to the bull. Without U.S. support, he's compelled to act, and there are no restraints now. Wasn't this the point of the mission? No, I was going through the right channels, getting the higher-ups to engage, but these things take time, and the vid blew things up. The video got the attention this thing needed. I know that the Republic is your home, but there's... Okay, Kelly! Karim's real name is Faisal Al-Fakhri. He's Nisreen's brother. He called us 20 minutes ago from a bus with other journalists heading for the border. But there's a drone tracking them. He's in serious trouble. Nisreen is beside herself. Shit. Oh, shit. I'll call you later. Hi. Talk. I know these systems. I know how to track the drones through their satellite comms. When they hand over these old reapers, they have embedded kill codes. We can't breach the CDL on the ground, but I can shut them down. Okay, isn't the code encrypted? Yes, but there's a backdoor key. Part of the doomsday package that all the high-ranking military can access. High-ranking, like? Like our very own high-ranking General John Grant. I can't ask my dad. You don't want me to ask dad. Last week, I risked my job to help you pull that stunt on York News. I dropped everything. We're practically sisters. Nisreen and I are in it together deep. But if anything happens to Faisal? My dad has a hard drive. He can use to access DISN. It's in the pentagram. That's the one I was thinking of. <laughs> okay, give me five minutes. I have to buy some time. What's up? Pops and I are five from home. If you want to get dressed, we can just go right to the court from there. Oh, shit, Jakey. I need a favor and I can't shoot hoops today anymore. Okay. Fatima is having girlfriend troubles. Fatima's gay? Jake, stand task your pal. I need buffer. I need you to stall dad for a bit. Wait, what exactly do you need me to do for Fatima's girlfriend? I mean, if you're gonna bail on hoops, I'm just gonna go to Stephanie's crib. No, you're taking dad and you're gonna go look at new basketball shoes. Hell, that's the last thing I want to do right now. You owe me, Jakester. I've earned this. All I want to hear is yes. Yes, fine. But am I at least allowed to ask what you're doing? No. Fati? Fatima? Fatima, Habibti, hello, can you hear me? Yeah, yeah, Habibti. Hi, I'm in the panic room. Service is kind of janky in here. Is your dad going to know that you've been there? Oh, he gave us the code. Jake and I are always here. It's where we come for a quiet time. Um, but the hard drive is here. It's in the safe. Okay, how do we get in? Is there a fingerprint code? Is it alpha numeric? Is there a USB connector? No, 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 no. My dad is basically a Luddite. Look at that. Wow. How in the hell are you going to hack into that? <sighs> Time to cash in all those lock sports. <laughs> 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 okay, wish me luck. Happy to good luck. Huh. Oh, I give up. Habibti, hayati ayuni. You got this. Mm. I can feel that we're close. I just, I need a few. Yalla. Okay. Still got it. How? Oh, it just required a fine, gentle touch. Beast girl here, reporting for duty. Fucking goddess level. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna hit the road. I'll connect you with the others, and then I'll loop you in when we're up on the drive. Perfect. I am so grounded. <laughs> Hey, get me up to speed. I've managed to isolate three active Reaper drones talking to the satellite relay. We're working to decrypt the video. Once we isolate the drone we need, you'll have to sign the kill code yourself with the drive. I'm ready. Last time we spoke with Faisal, he estimated about an hour from the border. No way they'll let him make it that far. I'm in. 
I used Fatima's protocol. The video is H.264 with streaming metadata, just like Fatima said. Sharon. A few seconds behind you. This is a bigger building. People posted outside. It's a train station. Why a train station? Mazika's hold up there. The opposition leader. Holy shit. I'm in. This is the presidential palace. There's women and children there. Guys, I have the bus. I have Faisal. Okay, well, we're here. Let's shut them down. No, wait, you can't. Not all of them. What? Why not? Once you enter the kill code, they'll know. They could probably flush the CDL. They'll fire before we can get back in. Meaning we might only have one shot at this. You heard me. Seems pretty clear to me. Without their leader, the opposition is screwed. We came for Faisal. That is the point of this mission. Mission to change. There are thousands of other lives at the balance here. I'm not ignoring it, but we can't save them all. Tell it. End this. Enter the kill code. Save Mazik. Without him, everyone is screwed. Hey! What about the protesters? Women and children first, right? Kelly, do what is right. Kelly Faisal's life is on the line. They have Hellfire missiles pointed at him. Women and children. Kelly, I promised Nisreen. Kelly, kids. Kelly, thank you. We're still in. Protesters, help them. Mazik, Kelly, go for Mazik. No, there's no time. Kelly, Mazik is everything. Damn it, Kelly. <sighs> Thank fuck. Come on. Come on. Fuck, I was so close. New reports have emerged from a group of journalists fleeing turmoil in the North African Republic's capital, Rashaya, documenting new acts of violence and intimidation under President Yasser Shafiq's administration. In the streets of Rashaya today, peaceful protesters were fired on by drones, creating chaos in the capital. There were no reported deaths, however, dozens were sent to the hospital with serious injuries. Hi. Hey. You feeling okay? Yeah. Uh, yeah. I mean, it always hurts when you can't make it all happen. <laughs> well, I'm sure Fatima is relieved, and that feel huge. Oh, of course. I love Fatima, and helping her out means everything to me. But uh, what I was going to say is that even though we came up short, this was big for me. I, mean, I made the call, I felt I had to, and I can live it. Owning my decisions, that's the place I want to be. And you there, girl? I'm there. And where are you physically? I am at Scenic Overlook number 14 off of the 95. I am two hours away from New York. Are you coming here? That's amazing. I mean, if they'll have me, I wasn't. I mean, space is pretty limited in my California King, but I can get the hotel to bring a cot to the room army style. You'll probably love it. I probably would. <laughs> I am slowly learning that the right amount of tough love is really good. Well, I'll always be your most dedicated believer and toughest critic. Yeah, I know, and it makes me nuts. Somehow I keep coming back for more. <sighs> Look, Kelly, before you get here, you need to know something. Rock? Huh? I wasn't in New York for a conference. I was here helping Ann Sawyer. Ann fucking Sawyer? She tracked me down through the photo we used on Delilah. And she had a photo of me in the hotel. She put two and two together. What? 
once Vex claimed responsibility for the dark thing, she went after him. She thought she had the leverage to get me to ride on Vex, so I went along with it. Crap. I was just trying to keep you and Jake out of it. Fuck, she is a piece of work. I'm, I'm so sorry, Kel. I mean, you had no choice, right? Right? So just, um, what happened? We, we got him. Who? <laughs> Vex. Public enemy number one. And I got him. I went back, connected his tag back to the 2000. I found this guy with a big chip on his shoulder from the hacker war. He had dogs Vex back in 2003 when Vex was Rage Fang. Anyway, so the guy ended up giving me Vex's real name, and D.O.B. Now, Sawyer is running a sting operation tomorrow to take down Vex and she plans to air the whole thing in her Friday show. <laughs> this lady is a maniac, Kelly, and she's gonna get her revenge on primetime TV. Wow. I mean, look at this guy. Look at this guy. Ryan Johnson. Mm -hmm. Handsome, kind of clean-cut looking, right? Not your psychotic internet terrorist. I mean, but then again, it's always those you don't suspect. This guy is going down so hard, Kel. You should hear the story she dug up for her expose. It's a slimy dude. That's great. Prof, um, I really is. But are we cool? I just want to make sure that you understand and that you're not upset. Yeah, I mean, um, I would have made it pretty hard for you if you had told me, so good judgment call there. And and I know your heart was in the right place, so thank you. I really do appreciate it. Um, but I should, I should hit the road. See you soon. I can't wait. Drive safe. Bye. Testing, testing. Testing, testing. Bex, you're busted. Show's over. They're coming for you tomorrow. Get out while you can. Who is this? Oh.